Hello and welcome. One more case in regression or linear regression, classical approach. And that is for two variables x and y, find out b by x if number one variance of x is the 916th of the variance of y and number two is 3y minus 5x plus 108 is the line of regression of x on y. Yes, there is no mistake. This is the line of regression of x on y. Now, we need to find out b y x. That is the coefficient of regression of y on x. But we have the line of regression of x on y. We know that from the line of regression of x on y, we can find out b x y. The coefficient of regression of x on y. Then how can we find bys from that line of regression? Okay, we cannot find from that line of regression directly bys. Some further process will be needed if we find bxy from this information. How? That I will unfold later on. I always suggest to my students, you also, that if you don't know the whole process of solving a problem, you are somewhat confident that I can do something Then do that something first of all Whether it should be the first step or not Don't think so much Just do whatever you know That will make something Say Clear about you Clear about the further process in your mind That's the key point As a student if I think I don't know the whole solution of this problem Then what I know I know that from this equation I can find out bxy. Then as a student, I should do it first. Let's do it. 3y minus 5x plus 108 equals to 0. Yes, that is the line of regression of x on y. And so the subject of the equation should be x. Let's make it. Therefore, minus 5x equals to minus 3y minus 108. Therefore, x equals to minus 3y minus 108, sorry, minus, uh, equals to divided by minus 5. So, let's make all these positive. Therefore, x equals to 3y upon 5 plus 108 upon 5. That means x equals to 0.6y plus 21.6. We have no say roll of 21.6 at this stage let's compare it with its standard form that is x cap or x estimated equals to by plus c or c plus by and so we can say that b is 0.6 and in the line of regression of x on y b is point b is bxy that means bxy equals to 0.6 okay now what Okay, let's use the other thing, other information. It is very clear. Variance of x is the 916th of the variance of y. Variance of x is 916th of variance of y. Variance of x is 916th of means multiplication. Variance of y. That means the ratio of variance of x to variance of y is 9 16th or 9 is to 16. We can write it in this way also. Variance of x upon variance of y equals to 9 by 16. Now these two are perfect squares. So we can easily take the square root on both the sides. That means sx upon sy equals to 3 by 4. Now in the formula of bxy, sx upon sy also appear. bxy equals to coefficient of correlation into sx upon sy. That means 0.6 equals to rho or coefficient of correlation into 3 by 4. That means 0.6 into 4 by 3 because on the other side it will be the reciprocal of 3 by 4 equals to coefficient of correlation so coefficient of correlation is 0.8 but we need to find out by x 
but we know that there is some relationship between coefficient of correlation and coefficient of regression let's use that relationship what is it the square value of coefficient of correlation is the product of the two coefficients of regression that is 0.8 square equals to b by x into 0.6 that means 0.64 equals to 0.6 b by x that means b by x equals to 0.64 divided by 0.6 so b y x equals to approximately 1.07 one e one, one coefficient of regression is greater than one but another is less than one all three are positive these are the checkpoints so in this way we found b y x on the basis of the line of regression of x on y and some information about the ratio of two variances that's it thank you very much